Hi guys, I'm Claire for anyone who doesn't know me. I'm a second year adult nursing student here at the University of Southampton and today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about the University of Southampton. There's a lot to get through so stay with me while I share my experiences with you. So we're going to start off with first year since as I was in first year last year and if you come to University of Southampton too, you're more than likely to start in first year as well. So as you can probably tell, I'm not from England, so I actually moved over from Ireland to come to the University of Southampton because I heard really good reviews and it's really good for nursing. It's actually third in the world, which is crazy. So um, that was a big thing for me and especially how it's a Russell Group University and things like that, I just was really appealed to here. So I actually came to visit here with my mum, which was the first time I ever saw University of Southampton or Southampton in general for that matter. And I just really liked it. I felt coming from a big city like Dublin, it felt quite small, but like a really nice city and quite compact. I know some of you might think it's quite a big city, but for someone who's coming from Dublin, it seems a little bit smaller but it was really nice. So when I moved over I moved into Glenair Halls which is one of the halls of residence here in the University of Southampton. There's actually lots of different types of halls so I moved into Glenair and this was along, this was near a lot of other halls such as Chamberlain, Richmond House, a lot of different ones. So if you're coming to the University of Southampton you'll have to pick where you want to stay. I was actually in Glenair Old Terrace, which tends to have a bad reputation as not being the nicest, but I really, really enjoyed it. I was in a flat of 10 and met my boyfriend on the first day and got on really well with everyone in my flat. So that was a really enjoyable time and it was kind of like a house. So you walked into the kitchen and then you walked through, you walked through the kitchen and there was two bedrooms downstairs four upstairs and then three more on the top floor or four more I can't really remember but it was really really enjoyable and I loved my time there so that kind of explains first year in halls and then to do with my course and um, this isn't all about nursing so I'm not going to talk about my course too much but I had two placements in first year and then the rest was lectures and I really enjoyed that as well so one of the big pluses about first year was that if you lived on campus, so if you lived in halls of residence, you got a free bus pass and this enables you to use any of the Unilink buses, which is the main bus system that takes you all around Southampton. So we had an unlimited bus pass for that. So I took complete advantage of that and would use the bus like five times a day. It was ridiculous. I'd say there wasn't one day where I didn't get at least one bus made me a little bit lazy but it was really really good and being in second year that's probably one of the things I miss most about first year. So now we've talked a bit about first year I'm going to talk about what's on uni and the facilities we have here at the University of Southampton. So there's a lot of different gyms I think there's in total nine um, on campus and within halls of residence so we actually had a small one within Glenair halls and uh, the main two I go to though I would say is Jubilee which is the one on campus on Highfield campus which is the main campus here at University of Southampton that's where I would go most of the time last year but it's actually super packed all of the time just because it's quite small for how many students there are but I don't think students realize that there's actually lots of different gyms all around Southampton that we can avail of with the gym membership and the gym membership is £160 a year so it's actually quite good compared to some of the gyms in the city and gyms in Dublin definitely it's a lot cheaper so that's really good but the gym now that I use is Mayflower which is a brand new state-of-the-art gym in the city centre but it's actually closer to my current house in Portswood than it is to go to Jubilee I always thought Jubilee gym was closest because it's on the main campus but in a matter of fact Mayflower gym which is in the city centre is actually a shorter cycle or walk than it is to Jubilee. So I recommend Mayflower campus for any of you who love to go to the gym like me. So talking about sports and things like that, there I'm just looking at my notes, there's over 
300 sports and society groups here at uni so this is crazy amount like there has to be something for everyone there just has to be so I'll just explain a little bit of the ones I've been involved with and how I found them so in first year I did Zumba with my friend Chloe and that was really fun I think it was every Tuesday um, Chloe's actually moved to a different uni just because she wanted to be closer to home but that was really really fun and we used to do that every Tuesday evening um, I really should go to that again but I haven't um, I also did the tennis society in first year which was really good since I already played tennis it was nice to just be around people who played the same sport as you and this year I'm involved with I was involved with the um, STEM netball, so it was, um, it's to do with like engineering, science, maths, engineering, yeah, I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but I was involved in that, and then I also do first aid, so being a nurse I thought it was really important to have basic first aid, which I already have, but now I'm going for the advanced first aid certificate because I just think it's really important to know basic skills not just to know in-depth nursing assessment and um, implementation skills but to also know what to do if someone falls in the street or when to ring the ambulance or what you can do I just find it really fascinating and I'm actually going to be doing you know the St. John's ambulance um, which will be really good so I can go to matches and stuff and do first aid there which is a great opportunity completely free of charge under the university so that's something me and my friend Rosie have been doing and really really are enjoying it. So as well as having sports and society clubs for everyone there's also a main library which is called Hartley Library and it's on the main campus and this is amazing it's five floors I think and it's huge and there's lots of desks for everyone to study and during exam season it's open 24 hours seven days a week which is amazing for those who want to go at 3 a.m. Um, and I use that a lot actually for revision because it's just really quiet and there's different floors so pardon me some floors are where you can chat and you can eat and you can people get takeaways and everything and then the further you go up the quieter it is and, and the less food you can bring and stuff like that but it's there's something for everyone like there's study rooms which you can book online which is really really handy and then there's also just hundreds and hundreds of desks so it normally everyone gets a seat if they want to go so as well as the library we have a great student union which is just where they hold events there's a cinema there's multiple restaurants and there's actually uh, I'd say it's more of a cafeteria than a restaurant and they hold a really good breakfast in the morning like a English breakfast bar kind of so I think you get six items for three pounds and a a uh, tea or a coffee or an orange juice so that's amazing and I used to go to that all the time in first year and I actually got an email recently to say we have a free breakfast from the um, uh, student union so I'll be getting one of them again soon <laughs> so as part of the student union and to support um, students here there's a careers advice centre and student support so there's always somebody you can talk to no matter what you're going through if you fail an exam there's always tutors you can go to always student advice and um, I feel really well supported here and that you never feel alone like there's always someone to talk to you which is really really nice especially when you move over from a foreign sorry my chair is so squeaky when you move over from a foreign country such as Ireland you're I can play I can came completely by myself so I didn't know anyone until I started making friends so it's just really nice to know that you're never alone and there's also a um, hotline you can ring so that's really nice to know it's nice to know you don't have to use it but it's also really nice to know it's just there so although there might be 25,000 students here at the University of Southampton it actually feels quite small and it actually feels very community orientated so it feels like everyone I don't know it's just a really nice vibe on campus and everyone's just working hard and doing their own thing but also there is a lot of social events that they held held hell 
hold <laughs> in the University of Southampton, so within the student union, but then also in town as well. There's multiple nightclubs and they host a variety of events for people that like all different types of music. So I'm just going to talk to you about some of them. So there is a nightclub in town which is called Switch, I can remember the name, and that's kind of like techno and bass. And then there's places like Jester's, which was actually voted the worst nightclub in the UK. Um, but it is yet to be closed down and people really, really like it. So that's a big hit down here. And then there's places called like The Shooting Star, The Hobbit. All of these places have really good deals for students and are very student orientated. So that's really good. So I hope this has explained a bit about the University of Southampton. I just want to say I'm really happy here and I hope if any of you are thinking about coming or are just interested in about the University of Southampton, don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the um, comment box and that I'll get back to you because I'd love to answer any of your questions about the University of Southampton. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. Bye guys.